What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is another week of Xur, and Xur is located at the tower. He's in the hangar in this little area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Xur, what's up dude? To do what you say is to speak in a like... So, like always, we're gonna start the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Black Talon. It is an exotic sword. Then we have the Knucklehead Radar for the Hunter, the Lion Rampart for the Titan, as well as the Aeon Soul for the Warlock. Nobody cares about this. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week. Trying to park on this is Crow's Wings, which you press R2 and R2 to fire off a projectile cross uh, combo. Then we have uh, Tempered Edge, Heavy Guard, as well as Tireless Blade, which Sword ammo granted for every other powered sword kill. Not bad. Uh, if there is an ornament, eh, don't have it. So, this is an okay exotic. Definitely not really that good in PvP, but more so PvE. With that regard, I am going to go ahead and say that this is probably going to be a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP, but probably a tier 2 in PvE. Um, because you can get around very fast with swords in uh, PvE. However, the only issue with this is a change is coming to swords, um, to Destiny 2 very, very soon, and it's not a good change. It's a uh, bad change for speedrunners. And if you guys know anything about speedrunning, you kind of need a sword to get that done. So that kind of, uh, sucks for a lot of people. Next, we have the Knucklehead Radar. And I will say... This looks promising. Oops. Trying to perk on this is upgraded sensor pack, which provides radar uh, while you're aiming, enhances your radar resolution while crouched. Now, off the bat, I am just going to go ahead and say, go ahead and grab this, even if you do not use knucklehead radar. And the prime reason for this is because it has 22 discipline. Better, better yet, I'm going to grab it. 22 discipline that is ridiculous i don't think i have any um exotic with that much like on any of these stats at all that's amazing and plus it has a total of 50 and it can always go up a little bit higher um so that's great now pve not so good because you really don't need your radar um so with when in, in that regard, I'm probably going to give this a tier uh, 2.5 to tier 3, as well as maybe a tier uh, 2 for an argument for 1.5 in PvP um, on maps that actually have radar. Otherwise, this is kind of useless in PvP maps that do not utilize radar because you can't see. Next, we have the Lion Rampart. And trying to perk on this is uh, Jump Jets, which provides additional aerial maneuverability and enables accurate hip fire while you're in the air during lift. Now, I will say this is pretty decent. Um, it does have plus 16 mobility, which is definitely good. So I still would go ahead and grab this if you do not have one. Uh, I'm actually probably going to make room right now. Bam! Just made room for my Lion Ramparts. Yes, this is going on my Titan. Um, however, I do feel like there are better exotics out there um, for the Titan, and this is good in PvE and PvP, but not the end all top five exotics at least. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this at least a tier two to 2.5 in PvP, but probably a tier 2.5 to tier three and PVE. Uh, so, with that said, let's go ahead to the Aeon Soul. Treasure perk on this is Aeon Energy. Throwing grenades grants the following to nearby Aeon Cult allies. It's a cult. Grenade energies to warlocks, melee energy to titans, dodge energy to hunters, other allies receive a fraction of the shared energy. However, Nobody uses Aeons at all. No matter what piece of armor it is, it is worthless. It is not good. D 
Do not waste your time. I do not care if it has 13 freaking recovery. Do not buy this. You're wasting your life. Just don't. Just don't do it. Real quick, I forgot to mention, if you guys do not know the tear scale, I will put it down in the description box below. That way, you guys can go ahead and check that out. As for your consumables, we have your Five of Swords, which is your Nightfall Challenge card. Then we got your Invitations uh, of the Nine, which I'm never doing it ever again. And then last but not least, we have your Exotic Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. Go ahead and pick these up first if you... Well, these. Leave the Aeon alone. Uh, go ahead and pick these up first if you do not have them, because you do have a chance to get them in the Exotic Engram if you do not already have them. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of the Exotic Engram for us this week. The Bombardiers! And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, and you can reach me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys next time.